Okay, hello everybody. Uh, we are gonna talk about orca cycles and we explain our spot analysis. Um, doing our diagram, we have uh, realized that this neighborhood has a social impact. So it's a reference as, uh, that the uh, neighborhood association is really uh, powerful, yeah, and it has a lot of life, and they they have a uh, fight a lot to get all the things that they have. So as we can see in the analysis, it has lots of strengths and different opportunities as well, and some threats and weaknesses that we have anal analyzed. And later in our proposal, we we are going to try to combat them. It's important to know that the main problem with this uh, neighborhood is not the civicas, is not the people who is living there, is the the global administration, is the Madrid administration. And we we will see in the in the future in the in a triangle of civicas groups and police uh, how this weaknesses and threats are represented in this triangle. Um, the main, if I can say, okay, the main things, the main uh, uh, needs, the threats that we have is how the administration doesn't uh, really help with the lights, cleaning and maintenance. My, my I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, when we ask people living there, they complain a lot about vandalism, about the lights on the streets, about uh, how disabled people can walk on the streets they are not able to because the roads are completely uh, broken and because of the roots of the trees they, they are completely done. So, uh, like civitas and cannot do anything for that. They really ask for the mayor to do something, but they are not doing anything. So these are the main problems. Vandalism, we, we even talked with, with a guy who said that uh, two days before, they burned a park near there, like it was like one of the best parks in the neighborhood, and some kids burned it because of vandalism, and they didn't have anything else to do. So gambling is also one of the threats, the main threats that we are uh, fighting in Madrid, uh, more in the southwest of Madrid because it's like the poorest areas. And uh, we also saw some gambling places in Orcasitas that maybe we can do something to uh, to stop them somehow. I don't know, do you like just think about it? Like what can we do to stop that? Uh, what uh, do I think that we should stop gambling? Is because like poorness people make them poorer and poorer because they like they put everything in there. Okay, and the other one is social stigma. We were talking like we were saying that that uh, before going to Casita, uh, we had that feeling that everyone said to us like happened also in Puerto. Like in our casitas, everyone is having drugs. Like, be careful with your belongings and stuff. So that's another threat that we should. Um, and another thing that our uh, casitas has is a good urbanism, uh, because uh, the accessibility, accessibility to get into that neighborhood, the connection with the main city, and also the typology of the houses and how are distributed and we are going to talk now. It's a really good strength of, of the neighborhood, and that's one one consequence of that is the good citizens that they have, like the good and as I said, neighborhood associations that they live in, in the streets and they are friends of the neighbors. So the life in the streets and the neighborhood is very really important. And here is a good example of that's the that going that's going in, in this neighborhood. What we also saw is one of the weaknesses that when we ask people, they didn't say they feel uh, unsecure, that when we walk at the facades, we saw the windows were closed, or there was like a barrier between the window and the, the outside. So that's also something we should discuss, like why people say the neighborhood is okay, but the houses are completely, have this barrier. 
At the same point, uh, we can see that the, um, the old buildings uh, are not like they're okay, but maybe we can like take some constructions of, as we saw the power pareja. Like mm, we can get the new kind of construction to that old buildings. And yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah. Okay. If you want to say something, like no, it's okay. <laughs> so here we separate all of them with the logos we did. Like for example, uh, this kind of manicuses, like the lights, and this kind of garbage we have, it, it, the, the solution is the polis. But there are also some parts which are part of the civitas and we can um, like we can do something to provide them. Uh, for example, the as Felix uh, said to us, like the technical groups that they had before, um, that's that's a good intervention we could do as architects or as uh, technicians uh, to help to the to the neighborhood. Yeah, for uh, for the knowledge that we have as an architect or as a social worker, as urbanist, and um, help the association of neighborhoods, but that. They don't have those skills that we can afford and offer them. And as we can see here, our neighborhood is really strong in Tibitas and Purps because the blue and the green icons are the strengths uh, and, the, and, the, and the red one and the, and the purple one are the weaknesses. So the main weakness is um, red as are in police and the, the strengths are mainly in Filipinas and also in course. Well, this slide is for German imagination. No, 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 the, the, the previous one. one. The ghost one. The one the Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Like the photo. It's okay. Okay, <laughs> did you remember when we went there? Where, where was the first point when we were? Uh, with that part uh, between the, the buildings? where you can't stay, like, it's a part only for entrance your, in your building and not for the use, for the, the people. The to enjoy the yes. neighborhood, as we have said. And we think it's, a, it's an opportunity to fix that and make some, uh, make put uh, some furniture the, in a best way, in a better way. So you can use it and be with your your children because uh, as we saw in the interviews, uh, there there are uh, there is some space, a uh, close space between the buildings, so you can see <coughs> your your child or your children, and you can mm, call them with whatever. I mean the. Do you remember the, po the positive control we talked about in the areas? That's the point we're talking about. The place, the intro place uh, we were at the at that brown square. The first time we went to to the small one with the fountain and it was or the first, or first stop where we had the light. Uh, these kind of squares are good, like an opportunity to do an intervention. Uh -huh. For, for this, it, it could be a solution. And he ha we had here a photo. Yeah, oh, we had a plan, but uh, we, we did a plan, we worked so <laughs> much on it, but, but I guess it's technology happened. Okay, another intervention we talked about is like making kind of festival, like to promote people to is still working on the, on the, um, uh, association and people doing the the the, the little um, the, the, the little models. 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 Thank you. Sorry. The the models. So so they maybe can change the the constructions or maybe they can learn how to or the other technic technicians they can um, help with each other for the kids for the neighbors. You can see. Uh, okay, as we said, like one of the, the best things in this in this neighborhood is a, a union they have with each other, and that helps. That really helps in, in riots or in in kind of a sign like a sign.
mining papers or change.org, this kind of stuff that uh, can go to the mayor and like maybe to promote to yes, announce what the problem that the neighbors have because we think about the, the participation of the neighbors. It's really important. So in those uh, rights, well, uh, stands, different stands, or they they can share their opinions and the problems to to be able to get into the mayor and the different stations of the of the mayor of Madrid. And also, or we can we want to to open the neighborhood to uh, the rest part of, to, of Madrid. So other citizens of different neighborhoods, maybe from Rivia, Rivas, wherever, they can come to our casitas and see what's going on, all the fighting, the social fighting that they have to do in, in, in their neighborhoods. Or also maybe we can do this in different parts, like to, pro to provoke other citizens to get and fight for their... For their rights. Yeah, yeah like, like an example, example for the rest of... Like be a reference to... Room. To other people. In fact, in our casita they have a carnival, a really big carnival, and maybe that carnival could turn also into this um, political and civitas uh, aspect. Okay, and also we thought about the the uh, the gambling, as I said before, and the gender and equality centers uh, that also make up like how the perspective everyone uh, has. Okay, so another point of our proposal um, is when exactly the earth and the police. So we found there was some problem with the maintenance of the public, public spaces and of the buildings. And also then <laughs> the lack of participation of the administration and also hearing the people and helping out with these problems. So um, what we are proposing is regarding the articulation of the several levels of administration and public policies. Uh, this idea is based on the program that we have in Portugal, what is the direito, the second one is by the Saudades. So the idea is for the central government to come up with some problem for uh, prices to dignify housing, like a legal basis. And then the municipal government have access uh, to this problem, to this funding, would have to come up with a local strategy to see which actors, which um, which is <laughs> strategy, which is strategy, and also with a technical support so um, the policies can actually go to the territory and to the people. Then we have the neighborhood association, the people and the physical neighborhood itself that would apply for this problem with the technical support. And then we have the funding coming from the electors involved because we know also that the municipality cannot be the only one taking care of everything. The central city of is also responsible. Uh, and also it's like several of the different levels of power and power in terms of um, and, uh, people <coughs> and of money. And after all, uh, we would have this help coming in form of only to energy, energy efficient materials and rehabilitation like windows and stuff like that uh, for accessibility and for the management of the neighborhood. So that's the main idea. Okay. So lastly, we also looked at those things in the perspective of sustain, okay, sustainable development goals. Um, we couldn't answer to all of them, but for example, with the blue ones, we have kind of two. This, uh, uh, the first one is you know, accessible housing and basic, basic services, which could be safe to everybody. And it also you know, deals with the reductions of, of slums. So obviously, that's you know, a problem that we should look at more. And the uh, other one, uh, really accessibility, it's the public spaces which could be you know, more safe and more green for women, children, everyone, basically. And the yellow parts are more like the government things, like what they should be more implement or do. And first is protection of the natural and cultural her heritage, and of, of course, uh, the poor people living here in the maybe vulnerable situations. 
and you also, you know, support the different things between urban and rural to different plants and urban plants. And to other predictions. And the three ones are the ones we unfortunately don't have a solution to yet. And that's our plan, actually. Okay. And so <laughs>